The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin here at the National Fire Machinery Showdown in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, catching up with Eric Richter um, from Syngenta. Hey, um, congratulations, first of all. Oh, thank um, you. Eric has just won uh, Ontario's CCA Certified Crop Advisor of the Year. Hey, uh, congratulations well, on thank that. Thank you that's, very much. That's a, that's a nice reward. It's quite, a, uh, quite an honor, quite a privilege awesome. to, to be recognized by your peers and work in the industry for that many years and have a lot of fun. Yeah, and now that you're a superstar, I've got to come down to Kentucky <laughs> to talk to you. But uh, hey, now you're talking uh, down here today, a um, bunch of growers down from Ontario. Yep. Talk a lot about soybeans and a lot of tips on production. And uh, on our presentation, but over some, uh, you, which you and I haven't got time to go through today. Sure. But, and we'll, but we'll, I want to touch on uh, a number of things over time. But first of all, I want to talk about um, planting on the row. Uh, you made a good point, and I'd never seen that research before, that if you're planting soybeans on the corn row, you're losing 50% of those beans. That's Tell right. That. That's right. No, it's interesting. Uh, we've worked with a lot of growers in terms of stand establishment on soybeans. We really want to help growers, you know, raise raise the bar and, and do a better job on that, Bernard. And one of the areas that we really have identified as a challenge is one residue management. Those high corn yields, you get 200 plus bushels an acre and you're looking at five, seven tons of dry matter. But the issue is whether you're using a drill, mm -hmm. an air seeder, or a planter, uh, we really have shown growers that when they put that uh, soybean seed on the old corn row, mm -hmm. uh, huge loss of mortality in seed, 50 to 80 percent. It's, it's wasted seed. Now, what's happening? I mean, you know. Yeah, good question. Ground, what's, what's happening? Well, um, it's simply one of the parts of stand establishment is creating an ideal seed mm -hmm. bed. Um, and when we're on the row, yeah, seed doing... soil contact, and so this whole idea of seeding depth, mm -hmm. even spacing, because we've got a lot of chatter on the row. Next thing is, you end up, it's a mess on yeah. top of that old corn row. We want them off the row, not on the row. What type of potential yield impact are we looking at over, over an acre here, Eric? Because if you're hitting, you know, every fourth row or whatever, how, mm -hmm. you can use some, you can lose some serious bushels. So, in, in, you know, in terms of the actual outcome, We've always said soybeans have the ability to compensate or sort of cover up some of these mistakes and I challenge the, the growers, the industry saying that uh, you know, it can compensate some, yeah. but if we're happy with 40 and 50 bushel, maybe 60 at the high end, if we're happy with those yields, you know, planting on the row is not that big a deal. Yeah. But if we're shooting for much higher for yields 80? and profitability, 65, 75, 85, pl planting on the row is not going to get it done for us. Yeah. With that type of seed mortality, poor stands, um, we need a picket fence stand. Yeah. And uh, that's the one way to do it is make sure we're staying off the row. Yeah. Now, final question, how do we stay off the row? We've got to make some management mm -hmm. decisions. Yeah, so it, it's, it can be done. Yeah. Um, one would be a little bit of tillage goes a long way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no longer yeah. the row. Yeah. Um, but I'm still a supporter of min-till and no-till. Yeah. And in terms of how to stay off the row, I think the tools and technology now, i.e. for uh, auto steer and the yeah. GPS system, I showed some slides during the presentation where the guys were just bang on, right? 15 inch, uh, 15 inch row beans and they were just dead set center there between the, the old corn row. So I think that's the easiest answer. Um, without uh, auto steer and GPS, it gets harder. Yep. Uh, I do know many growers, uh, you know, 300 acres of beans or a few hundred acres. Uh, the, the pace is a little slower perhaps and they take their time. Uh, the old system can work where you pay attention and you stay, stay where you need to but we all have uh, long hours and fatigue sets in and you get the wander. The technology is there to help and it can help you get it done. 